Greetings, this is Pastor Lance Lee of Fresh Anointing House of Worship, and um, not in the Promised Kids Kingdom this morning. No, I'm outside uh, where it's definitely warm, and there's a few bugs I've learned. But nevertheless, I want to come to you this morning and just speak to you for a few minutes. I'm sorry, next week hopefully we'll have the full Promised Kid Kingdom videos ready, but just didn't work out this week. So I just want to speak to you for just a moment, and I want to talk about this thing about how does God want us to view people of another race or people that look different from us? How does God see them? Um, those are really important questions because it's very essential that as followers of Christ, we do things God's way. We see people through God's eyes. That's so critical because we want to serve the Lord and we want to be honorable in all we do. So the thing is this, when you look at someone else that looks different from you, their hair is different, their skin color is different, they're obviously just different from you, not the same race or people group as you, um, you need to remember something. That person is made in the image and likeness of God. The Bible tells us in Genesis 1 that God made mankind in his image and his likeness. Now that's very important. Every person you see, every person you run into, doesn't matter how they look, old, big, doesn't matter. They're made in God's image. It doesn't matter what nation they're from. doesn't matter if they're male or female. God made them. You see, God actually designed them. He put thought in them. He, the Bible talks about this wonderful passage in Psalms, how that, um, Psalms 134, how God knit us together. He formed us. He fashioned us in an amazing, marvelous way. How we're really detailed and intricate. And God took great care and formed us. So when you attack someone, are you coming to someone? I've never understood this. How in school, maybe someone that's maybe you think they're too large or you think their hair looks funny or you think they're just maybe they don't look good and you make fun of them. Look, you're coming against someone who's made in the image and likeness of God. God thought them up. We need to remember that they're God's idea, as are you. So we need to treat them with that respect. Every person doesn't matter. They deserve that type of mentality. Now, there's this wonderful story where it talks about how that gives us an example how God wants us to see people from other nations. This was in the book of Acts, chapter 10, where Peter gets a vision from God, and the Lord speaks to him and says that he's to go and speak to someone named Cornelius. Now, Cornelius was not a Jew. Peter was a Jew. And at that point, the disciples had been mainly speaking to Jews. But God gives Peter this revelation and says, I want you to go speak to this man, Cornelius, who's, who sent people to, that, that he wants to hear from you. So Peter goes, and when he gets to Cornelius' house, and he hears how God has been speaking to Cornelius, he says something really remarkable. He says, I get it now. I'm going to read it. And in so many words, he says, I, I see it now. I get it. He says, I tr now truly understand God does not show favoritism, but welcomes those from every nation who fear him and do what is right. Do you see that? Every nation or people group that fear God and do what's right, God welcomes them. And he doesn't show favoritism. He has love for everybody. The Bible says that one day when we go to heaven, those that love Jesus, that follow him, there's going to be people from there from every nation, every tribe, every language, every people group, every tribe. They're all going to be there together before God's throne. And we're going to be worship God together. That's right. So we got to remember that people from other nations, they're coming to Jesus. And they're, we're all part of one giant body called the body of Christ. This is why it's amazing how I can have friends from other nations that look totally different from me. They have a different accent. I mean, you might say, well, they talk funny compared to me. Yeah, well, you talk funny compared to them. But we're brothers and sisters in Christ. We're together. We serve mm -hmm. Jesus. So there's this connection, this amazing connection because we all have the Spirit of God. And the Bible talks about our spirit bearing witness with one another. That's right. It recognizes that, hey, you're a servant of Christ. And there's this divine connection that brings us together, even though we're very different, very different backgrounds. It doesn't matter. God's Spirit connects us. It's an incredible, powerful thing. You see, the Bible makes it clear that God does not favor one nation over another. I'm going to read you some more verses. In Romans 2, verse 11, Paul wrote about this. He said, God does not show favoritism. He doesn't. Galatians 2, verse 6, Paul writes again to his people. He said, God does not show favoritism. He says it again. Ephesians 6, here he's writing to another group of people. He said, there is no favoritism with God. Ephesians 6, verse 9. And in Colossians 3, 25, again, 
there is no favoritism. And then it goes on to us. It commands us. And it says here that when we, in James chapter 2, it says we are not to show favoritism. We're not, okay? And it repeats it again. Peter right here, it says we're to be impartial when we look at someone else and what they do. We're to be impartial. Don't show favoritism. That's how we're to see. There's a powerful verse years ago that helped me. It's in Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. And here, God, Paul is writing, and he says something really remarkable. He says, in Christ Jesus, when you come to Christ, he said, there is no Jewish person. There's no Gentile person. There's also no, no, no male or female in God's eyes. When he looks at us, he has equal love. He says, there's nobody that's like down on the servant class or even a slave class, and there's nobody in the wealthy class in God's eyes. No, God has love equal love and favor for all his people. And you know what? That's how we're to be. We're to treat everyone with equal love and favor if we want to be true servants of God. We're not allowed to hold bitterness or anger towards anyone of another race or that has different from us or that comes from another country. No, no, no. The Bible tells us that anyone who has unforgiveness or bitterness of heart, that person right there is standing in judgment before God. If you have resentment towards someone of another race, that is dangerous. The Bible says if we can't forgive, if we can't show love, God cannot forgive us. It says in numerous places, Jesus talked about it, that if we will not forgive, God will not forgive us. You can see it there in the Lord's Prayer, that even we're, that we're going to be held account, by, we're going to receive forgiveness. The prayer reads, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Wow. Well, I tell you, I want to be forgiven from everything. And so uh, I absolutely want to forgive those who sinned against me. I can't hold resentment or bitterness in my heart. It will destroy what God wants to do to me, through me, and with me. It will hinder God's work in my life. You just can't do it. So I want to challenge you right now to love everyone equally. Look at everyone around you and treat them with the same kindness and respect that you want to be treated. And just do things God's way. Follow Jesus. Do things according to his word. So I want to pray for you and encourage you to do that right now. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for everyone that's watching this. I pray over myself and all of us that we walk in love towards everyone, God. It doesn't matter where they're from. It doesn't matter how they look, Lord, their hair. None of that matters. What matters is you made them, you love them, and you're, they're here because you put them here. And we need to treat them with that same love that you have for them. Lord, you love the whole world. Your word says you love the whole world, that you gave your life, that everyone might be saved. And Lord, I pray that mindset, that heart in us, to have love for everyone, God, to care for all those around us, Lord, to treat each other with love and kindness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Uh, next week, I hope to have be back with a typical um, full videos. So, But until then, I'm praying God's blessing on you. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you again next week.